the new Fortnite update 10.40 coming to you soon. Epic just changed a ton for controller players, and you guys will have to see what will happen. This is big news. Nick Merckx and other pros react to the controller changes to plus Ninja tells us what he thinks about the new matchmaking and bots coming to Fortnite very soon. I'm your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. Hit like and hit subscribe right now. And of course, use code that Denver guy YT. It helps me out a ton, guys. Thank you guys so much for using that. Let's get right in and might even have some time for some awesome season 11 news too. So make sure you watch this entire thing. Fortnite just putting out the patch notes saying our upcoming V10.40 update improves, improves aim assist and sensitivity settings for controllers and adds the combine to test your skill. We'll talk about the combine in a second. Now, every controller player started panicking when they saw what was in the patch notes saying new controller aim assist and people were saying aim assist got nerfed and everything and maybe it did it's hard to say what this is going to feel like for you guys but check out what they said and then we'll see what nick merck said live on stream about this and what ninja said about the matchmaking and the bots they said we've implemented a new aim assist system that calculates targets in screen space which allows a more consistent feel regardless of the target's range this new system applies different aim assist strengths based on the target's distance from the reticle okay aim assist now tracks multiple targets and will apply assistance based on a waiting algorithm this will help in situations where new targets can steal aim assist away from an existing target already being focused on sounds good right here we go though we have also removed the ability to use target snapping aka left trigger spam with these new aim assist improvements we no longer feel it's necessary lastly crosshairs now turn red while pointed at an enemy target that is within effective range, which is any time before damage drop off is applied. So what do you guys think of that? That just came out. Leave a comment below telling what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? Especially when they said they removed the ability to use target snapping, a.k.a left trigger l2 spam so you controller players i hope the best for you and it could be a good thing because a ton more sensitivity options are coming to you soon and we'll check out those in just a second check out what nick merck said about this before we get to ninja take a look bots in the game happens next season skill mate skill matchmaking happens next update tuesday wednesday aim assist happens next update tuesday or wednesday um. Next update is looking to be a bad update, boy. Oh, then, yo, what do you think about the new controller L2 spam nerfs just announced? I think it's... Like, my first thought is like, what the... F but... If you listen to... If you, if you read what they said, they said... Okay. New controller aim assist. At the very end of it, they say, with these new aim assist improvements, we no longer feel that you'll need to L2 spam. So I think aim assist is kind of getting a buff. Believe it or not, that's my optimistic side. I think we're getting a buff. So what do you think about that? Did you guys really think Nick would complain like all the other pros do or something? I love Nick Merckx and maybe he is right. Like he said, he's trying to be optimistic and somebody just asked him why pros always complain, right? I heard you guys say this too. A lot of you guys question this on the videos. Why are the pros always complaining? Why do you always talk about pros complaining? Uh, Nick tells any of you guys who get upset about these pros complaining exactly why they do. Listen to this. Guts, we do this for a living. What do you, what do you expect? It's our life. They're just updating our life. Of course, we're gonna. We don't like it. I always thought that was funny. Oh, streamers just complain, complain, complain. Well, it's our life. These games, bro, they put out the most ridiculous updates, man. Uh, Fortnite does some ridiculous things. This is their career, bro. No, no, no. It's our life. Not our career. It's our lives and that's just that you guys wonder why i report on this stuff in news to you guys it's because epic makes these decisions constantly that not only mess with the game but they mess with the lives of pros and content creators it's a big deal and then you see this and yes it's google trends but look at this there is no reason such an amazing game should ever drop this fast so these pros complaining about changes epic is doing you might be tired of hearing it but this is exactly what they need to do to try to help epic turn this game around but anyways it's not not all complaining just like nick saying maybe the aim assist change or nerf as some people will call it is actually good his chat really didn't believe him though the chat was blowing up like saying no nick you're wrong but anyway fortnite is getting some serious options for controllers like this basic sensitivity menu and then we have an advanced 
look sensitivity look at all these options an advanced ads sensitivity option for controllers and even just an overall advanced sensitivity menu so controller players hopefully this balances everything out for you and then taking away l2 spam will actually be a good thing we're praying here i really do hope for you guys because it's it's hard enough to compete with pc players right now but fortnite is also getting a new course or something it's called the combine it says you can put your skill and muscle memory to the test and it seems to just be like an editing course i'm guessing built into fortnite uh, and it should go great with the new Zone Wars LTM built into the game. Yes, you heard that right. Either coming in 10.40 here soon or even Season 11. And I'm so excited about that. But anyway, let's get to Ninja. Let's get to Wildcat and their response to the matchmaking and the bots coming to Fortnite. Another controversial change and how it will affect us. You can leave a comment now. You can watch this video and leave a comment. Check this out. We're making improvements oh, to matchmaking. skill-based matchmaking. Here it is. Are you serious? In the V in the V 10.4 update, we're introducing improved matchmake mac I can't talk matchmaking logic to battle royale core modes to create fairer matches. What does this mean? You will be more likely to match with players of similar skill, and as you get better, so should your opponents. In the next season, we are adding bots to Fortnite. They will behave similar to normal players and will help provide a better path for players to grow in skill. Bots will work in conjunction with the new matchmaking system, and as your skill improves, you'll face fewer bots. Bro, I don't know what to, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it, I, well, I feel like it's very necessary for the game to like continue, but most people are gonna hate it in terms of like the hardcore player base. But like, if you're a new player coming into this game, there's you can't win. So like, let's ask questions. Like, is there a, is there a world where we're so high up that we don't get bots in normal matchmaking at all? Like zero? Are the bots gonna be like tougher? Like they said, there's fewer bots, but will there be like? I mean, I don't see a world where they pro like they can program bots to build, other than maybe defensive building. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think either, man. Truly, like I feel, I feel like this. It's gonna force. I mean, like, I, like I am one of those players where, like, if I want to, if I want to put the time in, I could dominate and have a bunch of fun and competitive. But like, isn't this just gonna be? Isn't this just gonna make it easier for people to stream snipe? If whatever, if they like are in your category, like they're, they're, you're gonna match against. You have a less and less chance of matching against worse players. Skill-based matchmaking. Hasn't like hasn't that like never worked? Or am I wrong? Uh, it what works game? if you're bad. I don't know, man. I think it's just gonna be a bunch of I, I think it's just gonna be a bunch of smurfs. I think it's gonna be a bunch of good people who are gonna be playing, but like the the good players are don't always wanna play against good players. They're just gonna smurf and they're gonna keep clapping kids who are in lower, you know. What happens if like one good player matches or squads up with three terrible players? Does it even out? Does it just take the highest? You know? So I don't know, do you think Ninja is against it here? It's kind of hard to tell here, but they brought up like every good point with matchmaking and I'll tell you right now, I think it's good. Let noobs play with noobs like wildcat said imagine being new to fortnite you're up against players that you and i we can't even beat we played for like a year or more like what is a new player supposed to do do you guys who say just practice and get better you're not wrong but you competitive players are at a point where no matter how much we practice we will not catch up to you at this point you're, you're playing four to ten hours a day we can practice straight editing and building and aiming for two or three hours a day and we're still going to be way behind you so i think this is awesome now for bots for bots, usually games put bots in when the player base is low. Like when Wildcat said he swears there used to be bots in the game like way early on. They would fill up lobbies. They make you feel good when you get a bunch of e-limbs. Like Svenos on Twitter said, usually games add bots to their game when the game is dying. I'm confuzzled <laughs> he's confused and that's what i always thought too especially seeing the google trends chart kind of dropping off the cliff still with fortnite maybe everything is worse than we expected but check this out conspiracy theory epic tested the new bots in the first week of season 10 this was posted by user veins uh szn loves you I'm, I'm not even sure how to say that but he says arena was broken and we had no PBMM, I don't know if he, uh, skill-based matchmaking, I'm not sure what the P stands for, you can tell me below. We were supposedly just matched up with everyone, and we all just farmed points. A lot of people were saying that a lot of the players seemed unrealistically bad, and the usernames were suspect, like Rocketman858 or Fortnite King 720 uh, So what if the matchmaking excuse was a ploy, and they really just tested the new bots they were coding to add to the game 
later on. Just a thought, lol. So, man, so what do you guys think? I feel like I have run in, into some real bot like players too, and maybe they're just bad, but they would just like run in straight lines and stuff. It's very strange. And a reply to this was I think it was the top reply said, I think they are already in the game. I've been killing a lot of very suspect players lately with names that are just long strings of numbers and letters. I could see this being used and refined right now. And it makes sense. Like, there is no test server. So, where are they going to make sure these things work? Well, where else? A regular pub server. So I'm gonna go. At, I'm gonna go so far as to say we definitely have seen bots in regular play for a while now. Maybe not a ton, but they have to test these and they have to make sure they're ready. So if they're coming really soon in a patch, then yes, these have been tested. They have been checked. And either way, I am okay with it. I don't mind bots. Like if I can get some cool clips, I can make my stats look good and stuff. And like who wouldn't want that? Even if it's just like a little morale boost to make you feel better after getting mecked three games in a row or something like Mongrel and Ben. Benji and Mitro got griefed with that mech, but even Ninja just got mech actually recently. I think it was yesterday. We can't end a video without Ninja complaining, right? <laughs> just a joke. I use the word complaining, but watch this and tell me you don't feel the same exact way when stuff like this happens to you. Check this out. If I did, would you come help me? <laughs> you never told me. There's nothing, there's nothing you could do. It's an early game mech. I have no mats. I have no shotgun. You gotta get lost. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just dead. I've always been dead. He's gonna miss. Bro, another mech just spawned. <gasps> Hide in the corn. Don't build. Don't do anything, dude. And of course, he lands directly on me. It's actually almost dead. Uh, they might. Oh, of course. That's so stupid. They're so bad that they have a mech. I cannot wait. That actually. That, that, I, I just want to get off. Like when that happens, like I just want to get off. I hate. I hate it. I hate. I hate dying like that, knowing that those two kids just killed us. Oh, we would have clapped them 10 out of 10 times. So you felt that, right? I know I have losing to a really dumb reason that you have no control over just takes all your motivation away. And like Ninja said, he just wants to get off and do something else. But for real, he doesn't talk for like a straight minute or more after this. I'll see if I can just let the tape play out in editing. But he just, he doesn't even want to talk at this point. It's crazy. I don't blame him for getting upset. But that's it for me. Uh, for today, guys, I have some big news coming to you still, and I've been working really, really hard on something. And the only hint that I can give you right now uh, is helping you guys grow your YouTube channels and being somewhere like me or any of your favorite YouTubers at some point because of me and all of them, all of your favorite YouTubers. We all started from nothing. Most of us, I should say, not all. Uh, most of us, we had no knowledge, no skills, no clue even what to do. We all learned it either by doing it or most of us had somebody help us and mentor us. And I want to be that to you guys. So any age, it doesn't matter. I even have neighbors that are like 40 or 50 years old that say, I want to start a YouTube channel. I just want to help you guys. So leave a comment down below if you guys want to blow if you want me to bl help you blow up your youtube channel and start making money from it and stuff like that tap like and sub if you guys haven't already code that's every guy yt get that typed in today guys it does help me out a ton and then that is it i will see you guys in the next video love denver